Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to install your retargeting code into a WordPress site. This is much easier and a lot less painless, or a lot more painless than uh, in an HTML website where you've got to do every page individually. With WordPress, we can just pop the code in one place and we'll be all set. So we're going to do this in uh, the Zaragoza website, or, or kind of the redesign that we're doing right now. Uh, I've got the code here, so I'll just copy that. We can forget about that. Uh, here, so we're going to have to log into the dashboard of our WordPress site. Typically, there's two different ways to do this, and one way is when you've got a premium theme, and most themes today ha have this feature. You can go into the site options, and there will be an area for JavaScript. Or sometimes it's not even in the JavaScript. That is entirely something else. So it's probably in general settings. Let's take a look here. Scroll down, tracking code. So wherever you put in the tracking code, you can just pop this in here. Um, as you can see, I actually put this in here. Um, but so what you can do it was bam just put it in there scroll down to the bottom and click save changes um, and so this is in a premium theme that has these site options I want you to be able to do this no matter what WordPress theme you're using so what I'm gonna do is show you the other way and this should work for every single WordPress theme that there is if you come over here into settings and you go I'm sorry it's in appearance and you go over to editor and let's click editor so now what we can do is come over here to find footer.php. So find the footer, and this is basically the code that tells WordPress what to put into the footer at the very bottom of your page. So I'm just going to scroll down all the way to the bottom. See where it says HTML? So you want to put it right before the HTML. So let's just click Enter and go like that and pop in the retargeting code right there. So it's right before the HTML. You can see here's the retargeting code. There's the last HTML tag. It's at the very bottom of the footer. And then you're going to click Update File. And let's go to the website and just look at it. And just double check, make sure that it's on here. I actually put it on here twice, so I'm going to have to remove it. But uh, I did that to show you. So here we go. Here is the first one. You can see it's right next to the analytics script. And here is the first segment pixel and then at the bottom you can see it again right at the very bottom of the code so HTML that's the last thing and here it is so how you check to make sure this is done correctly is look in the source code find the code itself make sure it's there uh, and then come back to the site the design site and just look at it and make sure that it, nothing messed up and it, it, all this stuff looks the same it looks how it looked before you put on the code um, and then you know that it's installed correctly, and so you've got it. And since this is WordPress, uh, it should be on every single page of the site. So if we just go here and view page source, search for it, so there. You can see that I was searching for retargeter because that's in the code, but not all the codes will have that. So just make sure that you look at the code and search for some sort of uh, uh, wording that's in the code that's not going to be really anywhere else that'll make it a lot easier to find uh, sometimes it could be fetch back or pixel or ADNX or remarketing depending on what what network you're using for your retargeting so that's all installed correctly um, and so it's, as you can see it's really easy to install a retargeting code inside your WordPress site uh, so just make sure when you're messing with the code that uh, nothing messes up. And if it does mess up, don't freak out. Just go back into the footer.php or wherever you were editing it and just uh, kind of refresh it back to how it was before, and you should be okay. 